Hello, we are in the Maasai land. It's a beautiful morning and the chipping of birds can be heard and the drilling of insects accompanied by the murmuring of the awakening Maasai people can be heard from a distance. It's the D-Day for the young boys being initiated to become warriors of the community. In today's documentary, we get to explore the complex meaning of masculinity and the place of circumcision and its attendant rituals among the Maasai community. Circumcision is a key celebration of the manhood among many communities in Africa and especially in the Maasai community where a young boy is initiated to become a warrior of the community. Emurata is the circumcision ceremony in the Maasai language and before the Emurata is performed or the circumcision is performed and Kipata or the pre-circumcision ceremony are organized by fathers of their new age sets and Kipata can only happen when the senior warriors are settled and these is to prepare the young boys who are going to be initiated. It's a very huge celebration that includes slaughtering of goats, bulls, and dancing among the Maasai community. If you have visited the Maasai community and you know their dancing style of jumping up and down, and the ululation from the Maasai women is included in the initiation ceremony. Before initiation, boys aged between 14 years of age travel across their section of land for about four months announcing the formation of their new age set. The group is accompanied by elders to spearhead their new age set and announcing the date of their circumcision. A collection of 30 to 40 houses are built for the initiation for initiating the boys. The houses are in one large kraal chosen by the Oloibon. Oloibon is the prophet, is the prophetic name given to the Maasai community. This is where the boys from the whole region are circumcised from. Before the initiation ceremony, Olopolosi Olkiteng, chief of the boys, must be chosen. It's a position less desired by many cause you have to carry the sins of the boys or the age set. Can you imagine being chosen to be Olopolosi among the Maasai community? It's less desired because you have to carry the sins of that age set.
Despite many communities and organizations trying to fight female genital mutilation or FGM, the Maasai girls undergo circumcision, but it's done differently. It's done inside their mother's house in privacy surrounded by only four women who whisper encouragement words. Female circumcision as is called, it's called the clitoridectomy and involves the cutting of the clitoris and sometimes the surrounding lobia. I didn't want to discuss about that but I would love to let you know what goes on. So after the women are initiated they stand and walk to the bed to heal. That There is a difference between how the healing process takes place between the women and the boys and that differentiate the future responsibilities of a woman and a man in the community of the Maasai people. Maasai community divide life into stages that mark the progression from childhood to adulthood or to elder elderhood female pass directly from initiation to women where the men must be tested again and again and again and different ceremonies along the way have to be done for the males so that they can attain that uh, warriorhood responsibility in his community. As you can see, women are dancing and singing outside a manyata where the Inshit will be staying to give, to give them gifts in form of meat, milk and maybe other things like ornaments and stuff like that. The day before the initiation, boys sleep, boys sleep outside in the forest and during dawn they run to the homestead with an attitude of a raider. During the ceremony, boys wear the clothes or loose clothes and dance throughout the day. After the ceremony 
Enkipata, boys are ready for the most important ceremony that is Emurata. As you can see here, there is a pre circumcision ceremony, and also there is the circumcision ceremony that is carried out among the boys in the Maasai community. They have to sleep outside and another thing is that seven days before the boy's initiation he has to be in the field herding cattle for seven consecutive days and also the day of the initiation or circumcision he has to take a very 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 cold shower this is crazy man wow i don't know if other communities or in your community the boys have to undergo all these processes before they are circumcised if so comment down and tell me how it's done or if you want me to visit your community and know how incision in the community is done These boys who are undergoing initiation, they are aligned outside in public, surrounded by dozens of their age mates who taunt and glounce them to avoid their dis disgrace, all expression of hesitation, taking or undergoing the cut. Again, these initiates have to wear dark loose clothes i can't remember the, what they told me about those dark clothes but uh, if you know or if you have an idea or you, if you are from the maasai community you can let me know what these dark clothes or shukas they represent in the maasai community because i literally forgot what they told me daily present here the blessing it's done by pouring milk on the head and the body of the young boy to be initiated as a form of blessings I don't know. 
After the circumcision and initiation is done, the healing process begins and it takes three to four months and the boys remain in black clothes for a period of four to eight months. The next step is forming the Emanyata or the warrior camp. Emanyata consists of 20 to 40 houses randomly selected by the warriors and it contains so much in those 40 camps or the emanya town that's where the new junior warrior is allowed to have a wife and undertake other community work guys if you have loved this video let me know comment down and share with your friends to educate on the community's circumcision